And that is certainly great to see. Now to an out-of-this-world interview, literally. As you know, Colorado astronaut Steve Swanson took over the command of the International Space Station in May. He is joining us live from outer space this morning. Good morning, Steve, and I love seeing the Bronco spirit there at the International Space Station. Yeah, good morning. How are you today? Doing great. All right, let's talk about the special delivery you guys got this morning. That's right. We had a Cygnus cargo vehicle come in uh, yesterday. We grabbed it at birth yesterday, and this morning we got to open it up and get some uh, fresh food out. Very good. I already had an apple. It was wonderful. Well, besides your family, I'm sure the fresh fruit is delicious. What do you miss the most from Earth? Oh, well, I'd have to say, when we talk about that, mostly probably some really you know, fresh food um, and maybe a shower. Uh, it's been about four months now since I had a shower. I'm looking forward to that someday. <laughs> Okay, speaking of stinky, and just want to let folks know, there is a four-second delay uh, as we're talking. That's why we're hearing that little delay. Uh, you know, we tweeted out this morning, uh, the astronaut up there with you, that it, outer space smelled like wet clothes after rolling in snow. Is that true? Well, each person has their own interpretation of what that space is smells like. Mine's more like a, a metallic uh, material, kind of like if something kind of almost burned with metal. That's more what I feel it's, it's, it smells like. But everybody, it's definitely different. It's a very different smell and uh, it's very unique. So it's cool to see the microphone floating around and I understand you did a little brain surgery yesterday on uh, Astro Robonaut. That's right. He's my pal right here. Uh, I definitely worked on his uh, head yesterday, put on a new head. And today I'm going to work in his belly here, which is actually where the brains are. I'm going to uh, do some new computers uh, upgrades to his belly. And uh, that's my goal for today. Well, you put up the first Instagram from space uh, when you got up there. And I, I have to ask you, between Super Typhoon Neil Gurry and the Auroras, you've been putting up fantastic pictures of those. Which one is more impressive to you? Oh, I think the Auroras are probably the most beautiful thing we got up here. Uh, you can't beat those. They are just amazing. Oh, I wish I could see it, my friend. Hey, let's talk about this uh, race that you're running. I think this is going to be, what, the first leg of a relay or any kind of race run in space. Well, I know uh, Sonny Williams ran a marathon, the Boston Marathon from up here. That was a while ago. So this now is going to be a relay race from Fort Collins to Steamboat. And it's a six-person team. It's about 200 miles total. We each run about, of course, six of that. I'll get about 30-some miles. And we do it each do six legs, so a total of 36 legs. And, uh, and I'll do my legs up here on the treadmill when it's my turn. We have a little phone we can call back and forth on, and we'll kind of keep in touch. And I'll just do my legs from up here. Okay, I, I got to give you a hard time about the, the hair, the new do that you're sporting. That's uh, one of the casualties from the USA-Germany game, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's starting to grow back. It got a little shorter, though, after that game. It was a good game. I still were very proud of the U.S. team. They did fantastic, as far as I'm concerned. And it was good to see Germany actually win it all. We were very happy. Hey, uh, you may not know that uh, uh, Peyton was just named uh, by ESPN for the SB Awards Best NFL Player. you got to give me a big go, Broncos. You bet you go Broncos. I don't even see behind me on here, but there's a little uh, Manning jersey right there that I brought up with me. So I'm definitely a huge fan, as you probably know, but I'm ready for a go Broncos. Let's have a good year. All right, Swanee, we will see you soon, my friend. Continue to stay safe up there, and we'll continue to follow along their journey. Guys, how cool is that? Live interview from the International Space Station. Yes, I'm 100% geeking out right now, Kirk. <laughs> that totally happened. <laughs> and, I mean, he's floating around. He's got the Broncos country banner in the back. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you.